saying, did you take a wrong turn? Because this does not look like I, a way to I, CES. I'm pretty sure I got us to CES. Like, yeah, this is, this, uh, okay. I don't remember any of this yesterday. I, I should probably check the maps. Maybe, I mean, day, whoa, day two is already starting off. Whoa, oh my it's goodness. A, it's a little shaky. We're going to, okay, should, should we, should we, should we just turn around? I, I maybe. Yeah, I think, I, we should turn around. I think we should, I think you okay. went the wrong way. Okay, let's turn around. Okay, okay, right, this is I'm not right. Around. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, look. Oh, okay, oh, man. Okay, okay, we're good. We're, Ooh, good. we're good. Looks like we're at CES. Good job. Thanks. You know, we want to check out all the hottest tech here at CES, and this is one of those things. This is the Pixel Acura motion platform. Uh, this is pretty insane. No, this is awesome. And the fact that you can put anything on here, a boat, a plane, a helicopter, but they got this Jeep on here for the Sony booth for CES this year. <laughs> uh, the other cool thing about this platform is we have a car on here. The wheels can actually independently rotate, so it gives you that simulation. Behind us, those are Sony Verona panels that really create that cinematic looking feel. And then they even, so the platform, uh, each tire could be kind of lifted individually, so that's where we get that, like, that rocky action. And it makes it super realistic, and I think that's what Sony is trying to do, is show filmmakers, like, look, you can do things and make it even super realistic with this technology. And what's great is because this isn't a green screen, you're actually gonna be getting those reflections on the windshield, mm. on, like, sunglasses, on any of the things that's reflective, like, off of your clothing. So it becomes more realistic, and for the actors, we yes. get to feel like we're actually there. I mean, that that turn was pretty legit. Honestly, when those rocks started falling, I got <laughs> we, a little we scared. Feel, we, felt, we felt the rumbles. <laughs> the other thing is when we talk, think about motion pictures, we've seen volumes, but now this is really taking that to another level where you're incorporating vehicles that look like they're actually moving and simulating that background. So uh, I think this is one of the hottest things at CES. What do you think? It's pretty hot. This is actually on a smaller scale too. Yes. So it's like what you can do on a smaller scale production like this. I mean, this can be so much bigger. It's just so impressive what they're doing. Great driving, Brian. Thank you. Let's get more hot tech right here, right now. Beep, beep. Beep. This is one of the booths that I had to stop by, House Me. I'm here with Max. So this has been the talk of the show floor. Can you walk us through what we have behind us? This is the manufacturer at home. This is something how future will look like very soon. This is the most advanced and the most energy efficient house you ever saw in the market. And it comes fully ready to go right out of the box. So this is a ready product delivered in 60 minutes in any backyard or hotel standard Airbnb place uh, in an hour. To get one of these, you buy them online and you literally just come and drop it off. Everything is included. So we deliver, we manufacture, we install, we set up, we hook up, we provide all permits and drawings, everything is necessary. This is amazing. So can we go inside and check it yeah, out? let's go. Okay, cool. So we just walked in and I mean, there's like a full kitchen here. We've got like a microwave. You've got yeah. a fridge. We have a lot of storage space. Everything is nice and cozy. This is a working area and dining area, which can be transformed in a queen size bed. Whoa. And you see this uh, curved uh, windows? Mm -hmm. It can be closed like this. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. I mean, the way that this transforms, I mean, you're able to sleep, live, eat, and there's even a bathroom. More storage space all the way down. Yeah, lots of storage space. I mean, I'm so surprised how big this bathroom is. I mean, this is actually a larger bathroom than my first apartment in Los Angeles. So, I cry. <laughs> now that I think about it, this entire house might actually be bigger than my first apartment in Los Angeles. I could have just got one of these instead. Oh, wow, this is like the brains. We have uh, water filtration, air filtration, uh, climate system, battery pack, electronics, everything here. Everything is extremely durable, made of stainless steel for different climate conditions, and that uh, requires close to zero maintenance. It's awesome, I love how organized everything is, because I feel like you know, in a system like this, you don't have a lot of space, so you guys have utilized pretty much every possible space. So how do you see this kind of changing the housing industry? So the biggest problem right now in the real estate is the land, not the construction. So with this product, self-sustainable products, we can drop these houses anywhere in the world with no infrastructure, using unexpensive land with sustainable homes and let people live anywhere in a very nice locations with a beautiful view and enjoy their life. This is great. I even see this as sort of like a nice little guest home or an office for people 
or maybe behind their house or something like that. Absolutely. This it was awesome. my dream to live somewhere in a beautiful place and enjoy espresso with nice view of mountains. We are the company who manufacture the only in the world right now fully self-sustainable homes. Mm -hmm. That means they can survive with solar energy only in any climate conditions and also we have optional system which can generate water from air humidity. No way. So you can enjoy your espresso in the morning generated from solar power completely. We have a unit like this. Uh, this is Micro House Pro for hotel design. We also have Micro House Aviator, which is slightly ex more expensive but made of carbon fiber. And it's very much lighter than this, and it's designed for helicopter delivery for mountains and islands. This is awesome. I can wait for that. Well, thank you so much. This You're more than welcome. This is so awesome. And Absolutely. Never know, one of these may be in my future. Thank you. CES has plenty of big announcements, and if you're a gamer, none could be any bigger than what NVIDIA did. CEO Jensen Huang came on stage with this shiny, leathery, shimmery jacket. We see nothing like that at CES. The big hardware announcement that I cared about, NVIDIA introduced their new GeForce RTX 50 series, powered by the Blackwell architecture, but under the hood, it's really all about DLSS4. This allows their AI to improve the image quality and gaming performance. You know it's all about frames per second. The RTX 50 series is also expected to perform twice as fast as the previous 40 series, something I love to hear. Now also we talk about supercomputing for AI. They announced a compact NVIDIA Project Digits AI supercomputer, pretty much fit in the palm of the hand for CEO Jensen Huang, powered by Grace Blackwell Technology, and this is hoping to democratize access to AI development tools for everyone and revolutionize personal computing and your creative workflows. Thank you. I have been loving checking out all of the healthcare tech here at CES. So I'm here with Karthik at OnMed. Now what you guys have is pretty revolutionary. Can you tell me a little bit about what we have here? 100%. Our mission is healthcare anywhere. And when you look at the challenges we face as a country today, the healthcare system is broken. The entryway to that system with healthcare access is broken. We're running out of clinicians as a country. Telemedicine is not playing itself out. And what this is, is a blend of what you would expect in a clinic with the scalability of telemedicine call it a care station. It's hybrid care. It's a combination of traditional care and virtual care. But we've deployed this in such fascinating places, Justine. We've got this at a homeless shelter. We've got this inside of a prison in Texas, outside of a hospital, outside of a stop and shop in Connecticut. It's going to be deployed inside of an airport. So the applicability and the deployability of it is really anywhere where access is needed. So you walk in, the door shuts, the glass fogs. So you've got the privacy you need. Hello. And welcome to the OnMed Care Station. There's a natural paranoia around where the data is going. So it's been very important for us with this to humanize the technology. The technology is not overwhelming. You walk in, you hit start, and the clinician takes you on your journey. You can check your weight, you can check your pressure. It's got thermal scanning. It tells you if you've got sinusitis, it checks your, wow. if you've got lung, you've got chest congestion, it knows what's happening. If you've got an itch, you've got a scratch, uh, the clinician can deploy a high-def camera, you can point it there, you've got a sore throat, point it to your throat. You need her, her or him to listen to your chest. The stethoscope deploys in the ceiling, hold it to your chest. 80% of the counties in America lack viable health care. 80%. 83 million Americans have no access to primary care. Even having access to health care? After having like a severe health issue, I couldn't see a doctor for like six months to get a new primary health condition. That's where underserved I was like, is underserved. I was like, I gotta wait six months? I'm like, I don't know, if I'm gonna make it six months. And that's, I mean, it's like, I'm kind of getting emotional about it because I know how hard it is even just for someone who has access to those. You're exactly so right. So for people who don't, like, this is incredible. Wow. I definitely see how this is revolutionizing the healthcare industry, and I'm so excited for this to be deployed in more areas. <laughs> Great job, Ahmed. Want to see what else is hot? Right behind me, this is the Hisense L9Q Ultra Short Throw Projector. And why is this special? Well, yes, this is a projector. Let's look at the design down here. This is the box, right? This is projecting an image onto the screen. Now the design is gonna get updated and changed, but the technology in here is the L9Q. Look at this image. You might think it's actually a TV. No, it's not. That image is being projected onto a screen. That's a 2.9 gain screen. I'm gonna put my hand over this, and you'll see, right? There's that kind of gray surface that it fires off to, but when I remove my hand, I mean, it is hot, bright, up to 1,500 nits, peak brightness. They're using Hisense's tri-color laser technology, but it supports IMAX Enhance, and the screen size itself can go anywhere from 
100 to 150 inches. Now this will be available sometime in 2025. Normally screens we see like this, you know, projectors, you get 2.2 gain level, this is 2.9. That's why it's just popping off and it gets really up close to the wall. That's why they call it ultra short throw projector. So there you go, one of the hot things here at CES 2025, the Hisense L9Q. What's up everybody? There's a boat here and we're here with CEO David Folks. Can you kind of give us a layout of the land and what you're showcasing here this year? Yeah, well a lot on display as usual. Right behind us is one of our fantastic Boston Whaler boats, one of our 18 boat brands. And on board is an autonomous system that allows you to dock it automatically. So docking is a bit of a challenging maneuver and so we're taking that challenge out of boats this autonomous system. Justin, you want to go on the boat, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Should we go on the boat? Yeah, let's, let's go, go on the boat. Let's go on the boat. Welcome on board the Boston Whaler 405 Conquest, okay. powered by three 600 horsepower Mercury V12 engines. This boat will do more than 65 miles an hour, which is very wow, fast okay. for a boat this size. But there's a lot of um, electrical systems on board the boat that also need power, and they're all powered by a system called Fathom which is a very high capacity lithium ion battery system, just like you find in an electric vehicle. So this would normally be a combustion engine generator on a boat this size, but here we've replaced it with a much more eco-friendly lithium ion power system. All right, so now we're at the helm of the boat. This is where the captain would be operating the boat from. <laughs> Just captain Justine. Captain, captain IJ is here. Our, our fate is in her hands, okay. <laughs> so obviously the wheel, and then right beside Justine over here is some of the other controls that you'd use to operate the boat. And then the captain needs a couple of big screens. That includes radar, sonar, all the other things you need to make sure you're aware of all of the objects around the boat. So is there more to this boat? Or I see there's something back here. Want to go downstairs? Yeah. Let's do it, let's all do right. it. Here we are downstairs on the Boston <laughs> Boiler. Went inside. Wow. This is great. This is amazing. Like, I had no idea this was down here. Pretty spacious. We have a little kitchenette over there. There's a cabin uh, right on the other side of it. And then right behind me is the main uh, sleeping cabin. Yes. Standing right in front of the, the, the washroom, the bathroom. <laughs> and then there's so much more space in here than we definitely expected in the room here. It's, it's really roomy. Yeah. Can you talk about the other things that we could maybe try out and see what they're like? Electric surfboards are flight boards. You don't need wind, you don't need waves. I know you'd be, you be down yeah. with that, right? Because, For sure. Because like, I, I surf and this is this would be a good way to get you started into okay, it, right? Let's okay, let's try it. Let's do it. Oh, Brian, check out these flight boards. Now, something that I'm excited about is there's one behind us. It has like a little scooter set up. Yeah, it has this little handles. This is for me. This is their hydrofoil line. You'll see right aboard here. This is an inflatable one. And then down here, you have where the engine connects. But inside, this is battery power. There's three different sizes of batteries. But then when we go on this one, this one's a lot more streamlined, right, Jay? Yeah, this is something that, obviously, if you're a surfer, like you could actually <laughs> probably use this. I have never really surfed before. <laughs> so I feel like I'd feel much more comfortable about this. But that's what's really cool is these are kind of modular. So if I wanted to start here and then upgrade once I felt a little more comfortable, you have that ability. When you look at the design here, this is a lot sleeker. This is designed by Australian designer Mark Newsom. It's called the MN86. So, do you think you could actually do this? Do you think you could do this? No, well, no. I think we can try. There's a little demo okay. over there. Yeah, let, let's go over there. Okay, cool. Okay. I've never done this before. I'm gonna be your coach. Yeah. Oh, whoa, I'm, I'm okay. in. There you go. Okay. And I'm turning with my body, right? Yeah, yeah, like lean, like skateboarding-ish, like snowboarding-ish. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is adventurous. Oh, yeah. No, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm not it. getting motion sickness at all watching you surf. Absolutely not. Not at all. Oh, oh, almost, oh, oh. you hit land. You hit land. Oh, it's okay. I had okay. to. I had to test it. Look at that. Yeah. Look how fast oh, I'm turning. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. You're oh, caught yeah, in those waves. Those virtual waves. Hey, you want to try? Oh wow, he's paddling. Okay, oh. Carve it in, carve it in. It's all in the hips, Jay. Wow. Go. Go. Okay, Somebody's just... a pro here. Somebody... No, no, I'm not, I'm not. No. Land! And, oh! Uh, I just hit land. It's a simulation. You gotta come out to the real way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simulation. I'll see you there. Okay, we'll, we'll see you there. We saw so much hot tech today. Yeah, a lot of new categories and spaces here at the Venetian. The heat is still coming through those walls right here. There's a lot more hot tech on this ES social channel, so be sure to check that out. You know how hot it is? How? This hot.